we're a vertically integrated farming operation. So we farm everything from asparagus to watermelon. There's different family members with different roles in different places uh, and parts of the farms. I do the sales and marketing for asparagus, onions, and watermelon. I've worked on the farm all my life. I started as a, probably as a teenager working out in the fields. Right now I manage our asparagus packing shed with my mom. That's something I've done for about four years. Asparagus, beans, sugar beets, corn, mint, onions, wheat, watermelon, and I skipped hemp. Uh, we farm uh, right around 4,000 acres. From an onion standpoint, uh, we're, we're large. We're probably top 10 largest grower packer shippers in the nation. We grow enough onions for about the consumption of about uh, 38 million people. So our farm is definitely considered mid-range. Even in this area, we're not a large corporation farm, what a lot of people think of, and we're not small enough to really be at every farmer's market. We find a way to be able to support those who go to farmer's markets, but also have a reach to go all the way across the United States and sometimes even export. So in 2007, we started with about 200 acres of onions. That's about what we marketed. And today we market about 2,000 acres of onions. So a significant amount of growth over that time, both personally and as a company, as we've had to develop our customer base and our know-how and everything else. So we'll harvest early August typically, then we'll harvest that time through mid to late September. So it's a fairly long harvest. Some onions come out of the field and directly into the packing shed, but the majority of the onions from the Treasure Valley are what they call storage onions or cooking onions. And they're a variety that allows us to put them in our storage buildings for up to eight months at a time. And that allows us to supply the market, much like is what's done with the potato, put them in storage and pull them out and sell them as we need to. So watermelon is a new crop for us. We're in our second year of production. The cutting crew will go through the field and they're gonna determine whether the watermelon's ripe. And they have the skill and the know-how and the practice to look at a watermelon and the way that it connects to the vine and know whether it's, it's ripe and ready to go. And then the pitchers will come in after that. The pitchers will pick up those watermelons and hand them you know, one, one guy to the next in, in, a, in a chain gang, if you will, to get those into the truck. Every one of those guys, just for an interesting point of interest, will handle between 170 and 200,000 pounds of watermelon per day. I love working in agriculture. I'm really passionate about agriculture and helping people understand where their food comes from, but also getting to create something that people all across the world get to enjoy. The agricultural industry is very small and very tightly knit. Even though a lot of us are competitors with each other, everyone is there to support each other. And it's a really unique experience to be a part of that. My dad came back from the Korean War. He was able to build a farm and bring our family back. So we're all able to here to work together and grow the company together. And that was his dream. He really wanted us to, to be together as a family and work as a family and have high morals and standards and and do what we said we would do. That was a, an important thing to him.